To celebrate the launch of the new Lam Rover Premiership Cup and its sponsorship of grassroots rugby, these babies embarked on a whistle-stop tour of the country, giving fans the opportunity to meet with Premiership stars. First, the tour headed north to Manchester, where I caught up with Sale Sharks and England number 10, Charlie Hodgson, to find out how pre-season training has been. It's been good. I mean, it's, it's been really hard work. We've got a new conditioner in at Sale this year, and uh, he's put us to our paces. Um, but the boys are ready to go. We're all looking forward to starting the new season. And tell me a little bit more about what you're doing here today. We're just here to support uh, Land Rover uh, and obviously their, their influence on the, uh, this Land Rover Premiership Cup um, for all the grassroots, uh, grassroots players, all, all those guys who are 11, 11 and 12 year olds that throughout the country wanted to play in this competition and, and hopefully be in the final at Twickenham uh, when the Guinness Premiership final's on. Next, a trip down the M6 to one of the game's powerhouses, Leicester Tigers. Their England forward, Lewis Moody, is giving his backing to the cup. Um, it's important to support the grassroots rugby and, uh, and the tournaments and the competitions that, that they provide because, you know, that's the next generation of rugby players coming through. That's where you're going to have your internationals, your, your next superstars of the game. So without that, you know, you're going to have a very tough time finding the, the next generation of talent. Now, from your point of view, from Leicester's point of view, how do you think the season is likely to go? <laughs> I think it's going to be a tough season. We've obviously got a lot of new uh, faces. We've got a new coach, a couple of new coaches, uh, a few new playing members. But I think you know Leicester, Leicester pride himself on winning trophies and doing well in competitions. And you know the same will be, same will be said this season. We expect to be the best team in the world every year, and we expect to come away with silverware. And uh, nothing will change this season. It doesn't matter uh, who's in charge. And you know, I think Heineck has come in, and if anything, he's sort of motivated us even even further to. To, to push harder and, uh, and, and to excel in, in every area. You know, we got to two finals last year and we lost both. That wasn't good enough for us, so uh, we have to move on again. So, you know, it's going to be tough, but it'll be a good year. Another traditional rugby hotbed is the beautiful Roman city of Bath in the West Country. Winger Matt Banahan is one of the country's most promising attacking talents and I asked him for his thoughts on how tough the season ahead will be. Um, I think last year was a very tough competition, but I think this year's even stronger because I know Worcester have got a very strong side again. Um, but you can never count out teams like Wasps and Gloucester. Uh, Gloucester have got a bit between their teeth now, and they they want that silverware. So um, I'd probably say Wasps and Gloucester. I think another top two teams. And finally, the tour reached its journey's end in London. David Strettle, the Harlequins in England flyer, isn't that much older than those asking for his autograph, and he still has the enthusiasm of youth. Oh yeah, definitely looking forward to the new season. Um, as uh, I mean, with the new uh, the new squads announced for England, a few of us have got to get back into the main squad. So uh, no, a few points to be proven. And do you think you've got a bit more to owe to the fans this time? Not really. No, I mean, I've, whenever I go out, I give 110 percent. You know, as, as every player does when they pull on a Quinns or England shirt. So it's uh, it's something which you know I really enjoy doing, playing for my club and country. So uh, you know, any chance I get to do it, I'll try my hardest. And what about England aspirations for this season? Oh, let's get back into the team. Um, I was unfortunate last year when I had me at the shirt, which I believe was mine. I broke my foot twice, so I ended up having to give it to someone else. And the lads have gone in there, played well. So uh, it's for me to play well in the Premiership now and try and get it back. David Strettle there, looking forward to what will no doubt be an exciting season. So with all the preparation that's been done, which could make or break some of these players, not only domestic glory, but also British Lions selection up for grabs, it's no doubt inspired fans all over the globe to pick up a rugby ball, including those rising rugby stars in competitions like the Lamb Rover Premiership Cup. Let the battle commence.